what is up youtube it's your homeboy josh for today we're going to be talking about how can you become an instacart shopper for 2024 so let's just first discuss the overview of what is an instacart shopper so basically an instacart shopper is the gig worker that shops for orders when a customer places them on the instacart app so basically there are two types of shoppers in store and full service so each type of shopper has their own duties and level of responsibility which we will break down in detail in the latter part of this video so what would be the benefits for for working with instacart so from a sh shopper standpoint instacart provides you with a flexible employment option that allows you to choose your own hours, your own boss, and make money on the side whenever you please. That's uh, that's one of the nicest parts about being an Instacart worker is that you're able to set your own work hours that fit into your schedule. So if you're busy during the week and want to pick up a few extra hours on the weekend, you can do so. Likewise, if you'd rather work all week and have your weekends off, you can also take that route. So it's all up to you. You also have the option of picking which type of job you'd like to have, a full-service shopper or an in-store shopper. So what is the difference between in-store and full-service Instacart shoppers? So basically, full-service in, full Instacart shoppers, this would be the first employment option of Instacart. So a full-service shopper will shop for items in the grocery store and deliver them to Instacart customers. In some cases, you'll only be required to deliver orders. So as a full service shopper, you'll be considered an independent contractor rather than a part-time employee. You'll also be able to set your own schedule, work whenever it's convenient for you, and work as many hours as you'd like. If you, had, if you have access to a vehicle, this is a great option to make some extra cash on the side. Now, on the other hand, the, we have the in-store shopper. So if you don't have access to a vehicle or would rather not drive around town delivering orders, being an in-store shopper is a great option. In-store shoppers fill customers' orders in the store and prepare them for pickup. So as an in-store shopper, you're considered a part-time employee and you can only work 29 hours per week. However, this doesn't mean that you'll be guaranteed 29 hours every week because the number of hours you'll work will depend on the demand of shoppers throughout the week. So in-store shoppers will be assigned a grocery store for each shift they work. During their shift, they'll fill customer orders that they receive through the app and prepare them to be picked up by a full service shopper. So, the pay structure of being an Instacart shopper is based on the number of items. So, the more items there are in an order, the more you'll be paid. So, this also are varies from city to city. So, example, shoppers receive $0.40 per unique item. So, they also pay per mile they all have uh, something called peak boosts and customer tips so what is peak boost these are bonuses shoppers receive for working during peak hours that will vary depending on how busy it is so three dollars for each batch delivered during a period of high demand so the per mile rate would be for each mile you drive from the store to the customer you'd be awarded a distance multiplier that varies from city to city so example if uh it's 0 0.60 dollars per mile driven times 10 miles that would be six dollars on top of the pay that you would be receiving so also from the customer's tips you'd be getting a hundred percent of the tips so um instacart doesn't get any um percentage from the payment of uh your work all right so how much does Instacart pay? So uh, we're going to talk about the basic pay. Wages vary based on location and position. So although Instacart depend con independent contractors are not offered a guaranteed hourly wage when business is, no is slow, shoppers earn about $10 per hour. Sure, this amount is you know a far cry from $25 an hour, but there is a plus side. Drivers have reported earning $350 within a span of within a time span of three days which is a you know very chunky amount of income which averages to about 117 dollars each day rounded up so it's um as you've heard about all the details it's actually very very attractive right and for sure everybody would be you know would be looking into being an instacart chopper since you could set your own work schedule you can work whenever you want. You can work for how long you want. But the 
the main idea about this video is that if you were to go for uh, that said position, whether it's full service or the in-store Instacart shopper, you really want to check everything first like you want to make sure that it's not going to run over your other schedules you want to make sure that yes you have the extra hours and um you also need to keep in mind that this wouldn't replace your um main job so basically that's how you become an instacart shopper for 2024 and i've also discussed the income and all that you need to know to become an Instacart shopper. So thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for a lot of more videos. This is your homeboy, Josh, and I'm going to see you on the next video.